Good morning and welcome to Kids Zone today. It's great to be with you on this lovely sunny day. We hope that you are keeping safe and well and enjoying this lovely weather. Today we're going to read another parable. It's called The Wise and Foolish Builder and we're going to sing a song about their story after that. There will also be some crafts and activities that you could try at home at the end of the session. But first, let's listen to our story. Jesus told a parable about two men who each decided to build a house. The two men went out looking for the perfect place to build a house. The first man was very wise. He thought carefully about the kind of house he wanted to build. He wanted a house that was strong. If a strong wind or heavy rains came, he did not want his house to break up or wash away. This wise man knew that the most important part of a house is the foundation. The foundation is the first thing that is built. It is the bottom of the house. The foundation has to be strong and sturdy to make the house strong and sturdy. The wise man looked everywhere and then he found the perfect place. He found a huge flat rock. The rock could be the foundation for the house. The wise man dug around and chipped the rock until it was a perfect size for his house. Then he built his house on the rock. After he was finished, he lived in the house. Many times, storms came to his house. The winds blew and the rains came, but the wise man sat comfortably in his house. He did not worry about the storms because he had built his house on a rock. In Jesus' parable, he told of the other man that built a house. This man was foolish. He did not think carefully about the kind of house he should build. He just found a nice flat and started building. He built his house on sand. The foundation kept slipping and sliding in the sand, but the foolish man did not care. He just wanted to build a house. When the foolish man finished his house, he moved in. Guess what happened when the first storm came? The winds blew and the rains came down and the foolish man's house fell apart. It fell apart because it did not have a strong foundation. After Jesus told the parable, he explained to the people what the parable really meant. He said that the wise man was like someone who listened to Jesus' instructions and then followed these instructions. Jesus' instructions were always right. When a person builds his life on Jesus' words, He is building a strong foundation. He will be strong inside. The foolish man in the parable was like someone who listened to Jesus' instructions but then did not follow them. A person that does not build his life on Jesus' words will not have a strong foundation. He will be weak inside. The people were amazed at the parable that Jesus taught. They were happy that he made things easy to understand. His parable helped them to want to listen to more things that Jesus had to say and the parable also made them want to follow Jesus' instructions.
Cana that on it Jesus told some lessons and parables. And parables is just another word for an entry story that has a heavenly meaning. And today we learned about the parable of the two builders, the wise and the foolish builder. So we're going to try a little bit of an experiment. I've got two houses and one, as you can see, is built on the rock and one is built on sand. And what we'd like to do is see when the storms come, what happens. Storm comes, the one on the rock and the house still stands. What about the one on the sand? The storm comes to the house and the house falls over. So what does this parable teach us? This parable teaches us that if we want to be wise, we need to build our lives on Jesus, our rock. He gives us a firm foundation. He makes us strong inside. And how do we do this? Well, we need to spend time with him. We need to listen to his word and do what he says and speak with him every single day. And then when the hard times come, it's much easier to stand firm. Then we won't be like the foolish man who didn't listen to Jesus, who built his house on the sand, who didn't have Jesus in his heart. And when the storms came and the difficult times came, his house crashed. So today I'd like you to think about building your lives on our strong foundation, on our rock, on Jesus. Talk with him every day. Listen to what he has to say to you through his word and what he asks you to do. And then when life becomes difficult, you'll be strong and ready to face anything with Jesus at your side to help you. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your love and for your forgiveness. We thank you that we, you are with us every day in everything that we do. We thank you that you are there to speak with us teach us and help us to be strong in difficult times. And we pray that you'll be with us this week as we spend some time with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. It was lovely to be with you and I hope to see you again soon. I'm now going to put up a few pictures of some crafts that you might be interested in doing or some activities that you could do with things around the house and that would just help you to remember today's lesson. See you later. The first craft is a snack, which is great. So you could use any biscuits and make some icing, stick the biscuits together to form a house and decorate it with sweets. And then eat it afterwards. The second craft is a rock that you could paint. Um, you could paint anything on it. Really the rock is just to, to make us remember that Jesus is our rock and our firm foundation. But you could paint anything on it, any pictures on it, you could write words on it. And why not put it in a pot plant in your garden? The third activity is um, the wise and foolish builders' houses. You can collect some sand and some rocks and make a few houses out of paper and stick them into the rocks and the sand using popsicle sticks or straws. So it's up to you, but enjoy yourselves today. Have fun and have a great day.